Alexa, what's the weather going to be like today? Currently, in Hollyhead it's 13 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect rainy weather. This is not good weather. This kind of weather is not good for, for me. All right, let, let's go talk about it. Hey guys, what's going on? I mean, yeah, it's, it's been a hot minute. So today I'm discussing seasonal affected disorder. Um, it's a really interesting one, um, or SADS, a lot of people call it. And it's really, really interesting. It's a mental health condition and we're gonna get right into it right now. So guys, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new around here and you don't know who I am, my name is Dan. I do videos on, this is a weird angle. I'm gonna just move this down a little bit. My name is Dan. I have autism and ADHD and OCD and dyslexia and I make videos weekly on autism and mental health conditions. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more about this type of stuff, remember to hit the subscribe button by clicking that notification bell down below. And if you're um, watching on Facebook, we should just page a like and a follow, see more videos like this one. And hey, if you're watching over on Instagram TV, because I know you are, make sure to follow this account so you get more content on autism daily because I'm just that dope. Guys, this video is sponsored by Level Up Autism, the number one autism membership website in the world, world exclusive for premium autism membership content run by yours truly. Every month you will get access to a course, a course book, which is download and a PDF. You'll also be able to access specific interviews, exclusive interviews with people who are on the spectrum, people who are working in this field, or even if they just make apps for people on the spectrum. And also every single month there will be a live web group chat where you can ask me anything on video and then I will be able to answer those questions for you so I can help you whatever the weather. Now, if you want access to this, go to levelupautism.net right now, click the join button and join. It's gonna be awesome. I will see you on the membership. Peace. But anyway, getting back to the content at hand, um, I, yeah, I mean, a few years ago, I was uh, working in a, uh, working in a, a I don't know what you want to call it. I suppose it was like a web multimedia industry type of office. And uh, we used to do all kinds of stuff. And um, it was cool, man. It was fun. You know, I had loads of fun working in the office and hanging out with the people. But it got too kind of like intense and stressful. And then I had like a meltdown in the office. And uh, long story short, it grew from being like a six person company to like a 200 person company in the space of like a year whilst I was there. And then they wanted to change my desk around. And then I came in one day and I moved my desk around. It was a whole thing and I had a huge meltdown. It, was, it wasn't good, it wasn't good. But while I was there, um, I'd have real struggles uh, getting in in the mornings in the winter time and, and getting to work and having a focused mindset and getting to my desk. And I just felt, you know, really like just down all the time. And I was like, oh man. Anyway, so my, uh, my boss uh, kept kind of like making sure I was okay and he was asking me questions. I was like, hey, Dan, are you okay, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. And so anyway, I decided to investigate further and I was reading up, uh, you know, wondering, does anybody else get like bad issues from, you know, the weather? Does the weather affect them? Do they get issues, you know, trying to get out of bed, feeling motivated, feeling happy when the weather's kicking their butt? And um, it turns out that uh, people did, you know, people did have issues with that. And so I was like, huh. So after like, you know, going online and researching and stuff, I found out it was something to do with seasonal affected disorder. Now. Some people actually love cold and rainy weather and snowy weather and stuff that's really gray clouds and all that rubbish. But a lot of people don't like it. And I, for one, I'm not a person who loves, uh, you know, the, the cold and, and the wind. You know, I actually, so I'm actually born in July. July 15th is my birthday, which is also St. Swithin's Day, which is cool. Am I like St. Swithin's of Anglesey? I don't know. But anyway, um, I was born in, in July 15th. So right in, in, in the middle of summer, I love the heat. I love all of that stuff. And it was just weird to me that like people really like snow, rainy, windy, weather and it gets all wet and you can't really do much stuff and anyway I'm not really a big fan of it but I'm even less of a fan of it because of how it makes me feel so I was like researching on the internet and I came across something quite interesting it said that the symptoms of 
SAD, which is Seasonal Affective Disorder, is basically a persistent low mood, which, which I had, um, a loss of pleasure or interest in normal everyday activities, which I had, irritability, yes, feelings of despair, guilt and worthlessness, well, yeah, obviously. Um, feeling lethargic, lack of energy, sleeping during the day. This was me, right? And then sleeping for longer than normal, finding it hard to get up in the morning, which is the main one. And then craving uh, carbohydrates and gaining weight, which was, in my mind, I was like thinking to myself, well, if I'm just, uh, you know, going to, it's winter time and I'm gonna go to the canteen, I'm gonna buy something that's high in carbohydrate because I need something to give me a lot of energy to burn, like, you know, get my body going and get, get me feeling warmer. I figured that people just typically put on a little extra weight in the winter because, you know, they, they, they wanna feel warmer because the weather's freezing. But um, it's, it's, not, um, it, it's not to those extremes. It's actually kind of like, you've got SAD, you're kind of gaining weight because you're eating a lot more, almost from like a depressive type of state. And it also gives you this feeling of depression. So no, I, I kind of like, um, a real big issue uh, with, with weather time and, and, uh, and my mood. So when it's like really kind of wintry and it's like normally January, February time, we've had a lot of bad weather. I, I get really kind of quite depressed and uh, some of my videos on depression have been around that time of year. And one of the things um, is that I, I can never really get my head around it. So switching back now to when I was working in the office, my boss said to me, hey, have you found any information? I told him yes. And I heard about these sun lamps, right? And uh, this company make uh, sun lamps lights that help kind of like brighten up the room and make it feel like you actually are next to sunlight. Now this worked for a little bit. I actually bought one of these lamps and it kind of like, you'd come on in the morning and rise like sunshine and you'd sit in front of that lamp for a couple of minutes every day or like half an hour, 20 minutes, whatever. And you'd start to feel a little bit more um, like awake or a bit more with it. You know, I wasn't so depressed. Um, and uh, But then it kind of started to wear off and I needed actual panel lighting like this. Uh, you basically have this panel. Okay, this is an iPad, but I'm just, it's like a panel like this, and then you have like um, like a strip of LEDs here with certain lighting on it, and that lighting actually kind of, you put it in front of your face and you stare at it, and it kind of helps stimulate you. Now, this really interested me. I was like, oh, why, why is this light therapy working? And it basically, it's to do with like what causes SAD, is that the production of melatonin, um, which is the melatonin is a hormone that regulates sleepfulness, in a person with SAD, the body may produce it in higher than normal levels, which is really interesting. And then the other thing is that production of serotonin, where serotonin is a hormone that affects your mood and appetite and sleep, uh, it may, uh, and a lack of sunlight may lead to lower serotonin levels. So this was to me thinking, well, if you're using these fake lights to give you serotonin stimulation, that could be kind of why they're, they're working, right? Um, and another one is, is the body's internal body clock, um, which uses sunlight to, you know, to figure out when you're awake and when you're, when you're going to sleep. And basically it goes back to this. When we were like hunter gatherers, living in caves and foraging through forests for food and berries and stuff, you'd be sleeping mainly outdoors. You know, you'd be outdoors. So you'd get up when the sunlight would hit your face and stimulate you and get that serotonin going through your body, vitamin D getting absorbed and all that. And you'd get up and then when it started to kind of oh, go nighttime and you'd kind of sleep because the weather would just kind of go a bit more dark. Now, this is really interesting because with that, I kind of totally didn't, I, I didn't think about this, but what we're doing in life and, and what I was doing in that job is that I was coming home when it was dark, right? Because I'd been in the office all day and I'd come home when it was dark, um, driving home, like, you know, go home, eat dinner, watch some television or whatever, and then go to bed, wake up when it was dark, drive to work when it was dark and sit at my desk in the office while the whole day happens and you're inside this building. So it wasn't really designed, like the, the, the idea of that kind of modern living wasn't designed for uh, helping people with, with access to sunlight, which is just fascinating, which led me to look at stuff in Canada as well. Feeling like Canada has a huge percentage of um, uh, teen um, adult uh, suicides, um, and one of the th th teens adult suicides. And one of the interesting things that I was thinking about is that Canada has a lot of winter time, which makes people, you know, more susceptible to like depression, which may cause this kind of like high high rate suicide, I don't know, right? But but anyway, I have left links down in the description. If you wanna read into this a little bit more from the NHS website, which is the National Health Service of the UK, they have a great article on it. 
But also, in terms of um, just just actually looking for um, for solutions, what I found was that actually having the sun lamp really, really helped. Uh, having serotonin really, really helped. And talking it through with people, having people to understand. One of the best things I did though, was when it was a little bit more sunny outside, I'd actually go outside and get a bit of sun on my face. Now, this doesn't affect my girlfriend, Naomi. She doesn't get affected by it. She actually loves snuggly, cozy weather like this because she gets to just, I don't know, hang out, door, hang out indoors and just put like a blanket over you and watch some movies and eat popcorn or whatever, it's great. But for me, I'm like a, I like to go out skateboarding, I like to go walking, I like to go running and stuff. And, and all of those things kind of get put on the back burner because you're restricted because of the weather and, and the weather really can't, and that really bugs me. But when it is sunny, go outside and get some sunshine or at least get some sunshine on your face, especially if you're working in an office and stuff and just maybe speak. If you're, if you're dealing with this issue as well, like let me know in the comments down below if you're dealing with this so we can talk it through, it'd be really cool. And, um, and if you relate to this, give it a thumbs up. But what I would say to you guys is that if this is something that impacts you and you're working in a similar environment, like you know, you're driving to work when it's dark, you're driving home when it's dark and spending all day in an office, then maybe speak to your bosses, explain that, you know, this is an issue that's definitely impacting your life. You would like some help with it. You'd like to kind of overcome this. And uh, one of the ways is being able to get outdoors and just have a bit of sunlight. Maybe they could work that into your brakes or something, or maybe you could just make it, take a slight pay cut um, of like, I don't know, only a, you know, a very small, small amount, just so you could have five to 10 minutes outside uh, just to get some air. Because one of the things that I, I always kind of think about is that I'd rather lose like five bucks a week or something, or five pounds a week, if it gave me access to better health and a better kind of mental health. I mean, that's way priceless. So so just think about those kind of things. Also, um, you can get ser serotonin uh, capsules, I think. Don't quote me on this, but I think you can get serotonin capsules. But I would highly recommend checking out the lights. So I'm gonna leave an Amazon uh, affiliate kind of link. So if you do buy it, then I might get some, um, you know, a little bit of help, like they give me, I don't know, a little bit of commission. But I will leave a link for the sun lamp that I used and some of the panel lights that I used um, down in the description below. So you can actually uh, go and check them out for yourself. And um, yeah, just, just let me know if it works. Right guys, this has been really, really interesting. I'd love if you could share this video on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram if you feel like this could help somebody understand a little bit more about what's going on. Always leave me a comment because I read every single one of those comments and I'll see you next time. Peace.